What's up everyone? This video is brought to you by a user request. A while back I created a video star rating with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. We had a nice pretty five star rating system where the user could select a new amount of stars, click on it, and it would tell you how many stars you rated. In that video we only covered the front end, so nothing is actually being saved anywhere. In this video we're going to learn how to save our star ratings. If I select five stars on the top one and three for the second one, those have saved. I refresh the page, it pulls that data from the database and displays it on the page. Let's get started by copying my star rating folder from my previous video and renaming it star rating saves. You can find this code on GitHub, my blog code repository. It's a public repository, github.com slash jstolpe, link in the description. Now that we have our code base set up, we are going to set up a database that can hold our star ratings. So I'm gonna to go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin, click on databases, star rating, saves. Collation, UTF-8, general CI, and click create. Now that our database has been set up, we're going to create a table that can hold the star ratings. We're gonna call our table ratings. Hit enter and we are brought to the page where we can define the columns that we want inside of our table. Our first column is going to be our ID. We're going to set this to auto increment by checking the AI box right here. Click go. This just means that every time we create a new star rating system, it will auto assign an ID to it. Next, we're going to define a name column, make this 100. And this is just gonna be the name of our star rating system. And last but not least, the rating percent. This is gonna hold our percentage that the user has rated the star from one to 100. Those are our three columns. We're gonna go ahead and click save and our table has been set up. We can now go ahead and start coding and using this table to save our star ratings. So let's go ahead and open up the index file. The first thing we're gonna do is we want to get all of our star ratings out of the database. First, we need to set up a database connection, which requires our host, our database name, our user, and our password. So I'm gonna create a bunch of defines at the top so we can reuse them later. My defines are right here. I'm on my local box. The database name that we just set up is called star rating saves. My user is root and password is empty for local box. Now we need to open up a connection to our database. So we try to open our connection right here using our defines up here, our host, our database name. We need an equal sign right there. And our user and password. If not, we're gonna die and we're gonna see the message as to why we were unable to open our database connection. I'm gonna temporarily put a die right here and say all good. Then in the browser, I'm gonna go to my index page. And if it says all good, that means we successfully connected to the database. So we're going to remove that. We know we're connected. And now we're going to write our statement that's going to pull our star ratings from the database. Our first statement is selecting star from ratings. Ratings was that table that we set up, which holds all of our ratings. We're just gonna select everything from that table and we're gonna put it in this all ratings variable. And I'm just gonna temporarily dump this out here so we know that we're getting back some data. If I go back to my index page, we see that we have bar dumped out an empty array. Now the array is empty because we only created the table. We didn't put any info in it. I'm gonna go back here to my phpMyAdmin to the ratings table. Click on the insert. Here, we're going to create two star rating systems. We're going to call star rating system one and star system two. And let's initialize them with percentages of 100. We don't fill in the ID because the ID will automatically be assigned when the rows get inserted. Click go. And it says two rows have been inserted. Click on the browse tab so we can see what is in our table. We have two star rating systems 
system 1, system 2, and they're both set to 100%. Now, if we go back to our page and refresh it, we see that it pulled the data from the database and put it into our array. We have our star rating system 1 and our star rating system 2. All right, back in our code, we're going to delete our var dump and we're going to make our PHP variable all ratings available in JavaScript. We basically now have access to our array from PHP. We just threw that in a JavaScript variable so we can access that. On page load, we want to draw out a star rating object for each star rating in the database. In this case, we have two star rating systems, so we no longer need to do this where we have created two objects. We can write a loop and loop over our star rating systems that we got from our database. So here's our loop. We're going to loop over the, all the star ratings that we got back, in this case two. We're going to copy one of these objects and put it inside of our for loop. And then we're going to go ahead and delete them from outside of our for loop. Because now we're creating one for each of our ratings. Now that we are inside of a for loop, we need to modify our star rating object so we can loop over it. We're going to remove our variable rating and we're just going to instantiate a new object each time. Next, we're going to save the ID from the database to our JavaScript star rating object. We've just saved our ID from the database for the star rating system that we're currently on in our for loop to the ID in our star rating object. At the top of our star rating object, when we instantiate it, we need to make sure it gets saved to the object. So self.id equals args.id. Whatever we pass in here gets saved. That ID we just defined down here will be saved now in our object. Next, we have our container ID. Now that we're inside of a for loop, we can't just hard code it to star rating because each star rating system needs its own DOM element container. In this case, we're just going to add on our i variable, which is the counter in our for loop. So each star rating system is going to have a star rating container ID of star underscore rating 0, 1, and so on, as many star ratings as we have. Star width, star height is 100. We're going to leave those alone. Uh, the rating percent, we no longer are going to hard code this because we're going to be pulling that from the database. So we specify the current rating we're on, dot rating percent which, remember, was the rating percent that we specified in our database right here, 100. 100. That is going to get spit out right here at our rating percent, and then we need to add on our little percentage sign, so it will display whatever is set in the database. All right, so that is our for loop. We loop over all of our ratings, and we display ourselves a star rating system on the page. Now the next thing we're going to do with our all ratings variable here is loop over it, and write out a DOM element container for each rating system. Oh, and one minor thing, looks like we need an echo in here. Just caught that. That was a good catch. Back to our all ratings, we're going to loop over them down here in our body. So we're going to loop over each of our ratings, and we're going to display out our, the name, and then a container for the star rating system. We have a name pulling from the database and we're displaying an empty div which is where the star rating object will write out the stars. This ID is the most important part because it has to match our container ID right here. In our JavaScript when we're creating all these objects we're setting the container ID to star rating and then the increment count for the for loop. Same thing we're doing down here so they will match so the object knows where to write it out to. And we complete our previous video's hard-coded divs. Let's stop right there for a second, pause, save this, and see how it's looking in the browser. We refresh our page here, and now we see we have our star rating systems created. Only this time, they are dynamically built and not hard-coded. Now that we have converted our site from a static to a dynamic website, which is reading from the database, all we have to do is create the functionality that saves our rating when you click on a star. Let's go back to the file explorer and we're going to create ourselves a new PHP file and we're going to call this one save rating. 
This is the file that will be hit when the user clicks on a star. This file, like our index file, will be talking to the database, so we will need ourselves a database connection. Copy our defines and our connection and paste it at the top of our save rating.php file. Now, if our connection is successful, we're going to create a message and say, you rated X amount of stars. In case we fail, we're going to set the message equal to whatever the fail message is for not being able to connect to the database. Now that we have our connection set up, we can write our update statement. We have a pretty simple update statement. We're updating our ratings table. We're going to set the rating percent equal to the percent that has been clicked on by the user, where the ID equals the ID of the star system that they clicked on. Once we have prepared our statement, we can set the parameters for our statement. So for our parameters, our rating percentage will be set right here. This has to match the array key in the params in order to be, to be replaced correctly when the statement gets executed. So rating percent is going to be the number of stars we get in, and we're going to multiply that by 20, and that's how we get our percent. So if they click on one star, we're going to do 1 times 20, and that gives us 20%. Two stars, 2 times 20, 40%. And then we're going to save that percentage in our database. The ID right here is the ID of the star rating system. So we're going to update our percentage for whatever ID is passed in. And then we're going to execute our update query, update the rating, then send back to the front end the message, which we defined up here. Now that we have our save rating.php file set up, it's looking pretty good. We have one big part left, and that is to actually call this file from the front end when a user clicks on a star. Back in our for loop where we create each of our objects, we're going to call our save rating right here. This onRate function gets triggered whenever a user clicks on a star. In here, we're going to create an Ajax call that hits our save rating.php file. This is our Ajax call. Every time the user clicks on a star, we're going to do the following. The first thing we specify is our URL, which is the file name that we created, starrating.php. That's the file that we're going to hit. Next, we have to specify what do we want to pass along to that file. In this case, we want to pass along the ID of the star rating system that we're clicking on, all ratings i.id, which is the ID from our database so we know which row to update, along with stars, which is the number of stars that the user clicked on. Next, we specify the type, which is post, and the data type of JSON. When we get a response back from our save rating.php file, we're going to alert our message. In our save rating.php file, our post variable will contain the data right here keyed exactly how we specify it on the front end. ID and stars are now accessible in our post variable, just like this, ID and stars. And the post variable, obviously, is because we specified type post. At the bottom, when we echo out our JSON encoded array with our message, that is going to be this variable right here. This echo statement sends this data to the success function and it passes along this parameter data. Anything that we specify in this array right here will come back in this data object here. So we're just going to alert data.message, which is telling the user that they've rated the stars. It's time to see if all of our code checks out. We're going to refresh our page here. Initially, we set up the star ratings in our database to be 100% each. We're going to then rate first star system, 4, and the second star system, 1. Now we're going to refresh our page, 
and it looks like it has saved to our database because we refreshed it and they kept their ratings of four stars and one star. If we go back to our database, hit the refresh button over here on the right, we see that our rating percentages have been updated to 80 for four stars and 20% for one star. And that is how we save our star ratings into a database. Well, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.